A comment last year right after we talked to you you said am i going to wake up tomorrow and say did that really happen did you still feel i, I, well, I, uh, still feel I, like... I, I will honestly say i have watched the derby replay multiple times but i don't think i've watched it once from the le when they left the gates till they went under the wire i've had to quit almost every single time or pick it up late or watch it at a different spot but i don't think i've sat through the opening of the gates all the way to the wire. Cause it, like, are you serious? <laughs> so I guess the answer is yes. You still feel like. <laughs> what? No, I, I don't know. You know, I guess it's only, it don't bother me when I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, it don't, it don't bother me at all if I'm not thinking about it. But do I think, oh man, like. Do you think about it? What? <laughs> only if you get a glimpse of anything. I mean, you know. Well, with your other runners up that you had in the derby, did you ever did you have any of the same sense feeling like this is it? We're oh, this is gonna be the our derby. one I'll never. I mean, holy yeah. crap, I'll never. You know, it was. You know, you. I have always hated reading, hearing, or listening to the opinion of the losers. So I, don't, I don't ever want to add to it. You know, you just, the winner won because he did everything you're supposed to do to win a race. Give them their credit. Rich Strike, you know, Eric, and the whole group, you know, congratulations to them. Nobody should ever take away from that. But in watching Curlin, did you think at one point he's won the race in the derby? I thought he was going to win the race. I did. I mean, when you're, I mean, you would lead him over. Like Curlin, for example, you know, it. They split one horse and it goes, it's like, you know, there's two paths to take and that one's just horribly wrong and that one's absolutely perfect. But, and it, that's, that's how it goes. But it, Curlin was, <laughs> you know, it's just, how do you feel after one, you know? Like Curlin cooling out. I mean, we ran two horses in the race that year, Zanero and Curlin. Zanero, um, you know, a solid horse beating ahead, actually beat Street Sense in the bluegrass. We were second, he was third, you know, in the race, the race before the Derby. And then he ran hard. I think it was one of one of only two times the narrow was ever off the board and one of them was the Derby. And he came back here and Curlin went to the test barn. And Zanero was still blowing water out of his water bucket over how tired he was cooling out for the Derby and Curlin walking back in the barn looks like you schooled him and she brought him back you know so like afterwards you know and that you were talking about the after effects that's i mean the reaction is what makes you feel differently about how a race ran or how it is you know in the partnership with uh, you know curlin you know everybody asks you're gonna run in the preakness you know you're just waiting to talk to them but i'd be like you know running and unwrap your gift you know <laughs> Preakness might have been a little bit different feeling. It was kind of looking like it was getting close to being over, and then all of a sudden it all clicked, and he made a huge rally late. Yeah. You know, just get the opportunity to prove who you are. I mean, yeah. Just on what stage. And uh, I mean, Creator's Derby still bothers me, you know? If you watch wow. the replay of that. And he... I'm trying to think who won the Derby that year. Yeah. Gunrunner was third. The, um, always dreaming. Was no, no, always dreaming. Was being, looking dreaming. at Lee, you know, and looking oh. at Lee got a uh, okay. um, street sense. Uh, mind that bird trip. You know, Corey gave him just a dream, and he gave a, you know, he cut the corner and ran, a, ran well, and ran second. But uh, you know, so everything worked out for him to be second that day. But I guess with horses like that, I mean, you're thrilled with the second with a looking at Lee. Yes. So no, I mean, you're thrilled to be here. It's just different levels. Um, yeah. It's I mean, any race that you don't win. If they ran it again, you would do something different when it ran. I mean, just so last year, obviously, you came in thinking you were the one to be. 
who's the one to be Fisher? I don't. Uh, I don't focus much on. I mean, how are they doing compared to what? I wasn't watching them six months ago or whatever. You know, it just and we focus on what we have control over and getting ourselves there in as good a mental and physical condition as we possibly can. I think it's quite obvious that uh, Disarm is an attractive horse with a lot of talent that people won't disregard, but he has not run fast enough to win the Derby for multiple reasons. But can he put it all together uh, in five days? Hey, Steve, you probably already talked about it, but it's a little late. Uh, what do you think of Disarm's work today? No, but yeah, you're the first to ask. I want to we just give you credit for that. <laughs> it, it, was, it was really good. We did move it up a little bit instead of waiting. Mm -hmm. You know, with it drizzling, looked at the forecast. Yeah. We're a little close to the river here to take a chance. We've had some surprise showers. Walked out on it first set. Racetrack was in very good shape. Didn't want to wait around, get a little shower, and then it be sealed for later training. Yeah. Little stretch his legs. Opportunity to scope him, make sure the inside of him is just as healthy as the outside of him. Um, he's very cooled out, very relaxed. I'm glad it didn't wind him up or anything. Um, he's been very good in his stall. Um, his appetite, obviously, a horse of his size, he's got a good appetite. He's just Was there any been munching since he came back, so I'm really happy with that. We will, um, we do plan on schooling him uh, during live racing, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, hoping. Uh, that we can give him Friday off, you know, and that okay. his focus is where we want it to be. We'll just uh, keep him loose. He's a very big horse, you know, carries plenty of weight. Um, we'll just concentrate on him being hydrated and being loose and try to get his focus uh, where it'll be necessary. Um, I think it's, you know, the, the derby to us uh, is high intensity, <laughs> but he hasn't figured that out oh, right good. yet. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. a big deal to us, but he's just enjoying life right now. All the horses, it's the first time. Yeah. Was there any Joe big cool. thought of just going on Monday as opposed to Saturday or just that's it, the way it's, it fell? It's, my, it's how I'm comfortable. Yeah. I thought, I feel um, just history of it. You know, we've always been excellent in two weeks, you mm -hmm. know, just uh, with how we do things. I really like to back up um, going into it, mm -hmm. and when I say with the little intensity, just feel loose, feel a little lighter, you know. I think that uh, extremely important uh, for horses not to overreact to anything that happens, and there's a way better chance of them doing so if they're comfortable. Do you get a lot of thrill out of gun runner success as oh, a sire? It, it, a lot of it, it's not even a, a, a just absolutely, uh, you feel a part of it for some yeah, ridiculous yeah, reason, yeah. and you're just proud of it. it it's uh, even the sale last week, the OBS uh, mm -hmm. April, you know, beautiful. Uh, Demeric had a, you know, a gorgeous uh, gun runner colt, and to yeah. think that even at an eighth of a mile, everybody thinks they're the best. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, just yeah. that level of talent that is uh, can throw it. You know. Did you buy them? Did you get them? No, no but I, I represented, but the, the Bavert and Zand are pretty dang good at that. It, it is impossible not to notice the physical similarities oh, wow. between this arm gun runner, all the way down to his markings. I yeah. mean, he's got his, re, his color. I mean, there's obviously different tones of chestnut, but he has that liver red uh, of gun runner. Yeah. You know, extremely similar. Um, head on him, you know, just a uh, flat broad uh, forehead and a nice little white star and just so similar uh, in his markings. But he is a bigger version of him. Gunrunner was uh, an exceptional talent that, I mean, I, you talk about replays, I can watch from the beginning to the end, yeah. you know, just, you know, his Woodward and his Breeders' Cup Classic, I mean, th those are fractions horses don't lay down and continue to. Uh, accelerate to or or whatever you know and I I've been uh, you know blessed with incredible horses and talent but you wa you watch a couple of his replays and uh, the hor horses being that gifted or rare if ever how so the, the derby last last year Jimmy you stopped 
Did we did you stop the video at some at a certain point, or you? Uh, you look away. I mean, like a scary movie, you know, like you know. Don't go in the basement. Yeah, that. Yeah, that feeling. Yeah. Just like, yeah. I think you yeah, anyway, just sat there and went, ah, cringe at the, you know, you just, ah, oh. <laughs> you know, ah, just, wow, wow. Does it give you more optimism about disarm, though, after the results of last year's that you might um, not have the best horse? Don't say but that. Going into the race, we'll see coming out. Most proven. Point B. Go I think most proven. <laughs> but I'm thinking like Epicenter, you had the best horse. You most had the proven. champion. Yeah, yeah the absolutely. most proven horse. You might I, have the I most think proven. Everything, I love that about horse racing, though. Your resume doesn't win any races. You're paid for what you do, not for what you have done. And... I think that, uh, you know, me standing on this side of the microphones, it comes up all the time. People uh, want to be, want to let you know what they know as they are guessing at all times, you know, um, and you, you handicap off what they've already done and that literally does nothing for them uh, when the gates open. You also have a saying, you get paid for what you do and you pay for what you do. And that, that is because of that, you know, you're, when you're, like I said, talking on this side to people that are uh, talking about things that have already happened. Uh, I know that if that was a huge effort from a horse, they left some of themselves there. And that it's just extremely um, rare to not take a step back off a surprisingly good performance. So I think that, uh, you know, there's all kinds of handicapping angles that lead to that. And uh, I think that our great horses, um, you know, the Curlins, the Gunner, the incremental improvement that they showed throughout their career allowed them to sustain it, and that's what we're aiming at. And the epicenters and the disarms and the, yeah, as you mentioned, you know, the multiple gun runners that have ability, I mean, that is what you're aiming at. And you have different levels of maturity you know when Gunrunner's talent was unbelievably obvious but I think that his physical characteristics continued to develop that made him faster as he got older. In that context can you talk about the Lexington for disarm again that because you weren't scared you weren't planning on running no, back there and, and so. Extremely concerning to go um, from a outcome standpoint you know um, not from an exercise, uh, out, but from a outcome. Going from the mile and a three sixteenths at the Louisiana Downs to Keeneland, which favors uh, you being closer in a race. You know, just circumference of it, the composition of the racetrack. You just you see horses get away from them quite a bit at, at Keeneland. Uh, I was extremely concerned with how he would the outcome of the Lexington, and he did just enough. Um, I think that it, the saddling, the post parade, uh, er, you know, the pageantry of Lexington mm, is a pretty good lesson, you know, going into the Derby of seeing uh, that trying to get his focus where it needs to be. So at least but also you can tell by Disarm's antics in the paddock and in the post parade that he is not um, as focused about on, on the race or what's fixing to happen as we wanted.